Now rescue efforts are happening right now, so it's going to be a while until investigators can determine why this happened. But 10 Tampa Bay's Tweelon Win has a sharper insight as to what factors could contribute to a collapse like this one. I spoke to a structural forensic engineer who has more than 30 years of experience, and he's investigated collapses like this one before. Orlando Bayate says he can't speculate what happened in Surfside, but in his years of investigation, he says buildings like these need constant maintenance, especially because of the location right along the water. You have corrosion-related deterioration of the building if it's not maintained. So if the building you know, is 40 years old, um, you could have weakening of the concrete members because the salt air environment corrodes the rebars inside the concrete. He says in his experience, some other factors that have led to collapses in the past are vibrations from nearby construction projects, lack of updated inspections and repairs. Bayate says he hopes building inspection codes are changed to require more frequent inspections along waterfront properties because right now inspections are only required every 40 years.